hello welcome to my channel my name is a4 and in today's video i'll be showing you how to create google forms on your phone these forms can be used for service quizzes and also to collect feedback from clients or your subscribers they are absolutely free to use and very easy to use as well so let's get started the first step is first open our browser and type Google Forms. Just follow the red arrow. We are going to choose the second option, Google Forms Online. It brings you to this page. We'll select the second option, Go to Forms. It brings you to a form you can edit. So the first thing is for us to choose the title. So let's change it to sample form. You can also add a description. So here I'm adding a description to it. You can type whatever you want here. So let's say I'm creating a form to get feedback from my subscribers to know what content they would like to see more of on my page so here we can add questions so let's add it to the first question since it's a feedback form let's put name here so you can decide on the type of answers you want by clicking on the section here so with a short answer, it's just a few words, like a name or an email. So with a paragraph, one can write a long answer. With multiple choice, there are several answers and only one is correct. With the check boxes, one can choose more than one answer from the several answers. And there's the drop down as well. So since it's a name, we are going to use short answer so you click on that so we'll make this question required required means the respondents would have to answer the question before they can proceed to submit the form so just follow the arrow to add the next question we'll click on the plus button here Let's type, let's type the next question, email address. I'll make this required as well. So I'll choose short answer for this since it's an email. So I'm going to choose short answer and make it required as well. So what shows this is required is the asterisk here. That's what shows this is required. So let's add another question. This time around, we are going to be using checkboxes. So what content would you like to see more of on my channel? On my channel, so. So let's choose checkboxes. So click on checkboxes. To add the option, just select option 1 and edit. So content creation. You can add another option. You can add several options. So option 2. Just edit it. YouTube tips. You can add several options. So I'm adding other as the last option. Click on plus again to add the next question. So let's add a last question. Let's turn around. Let's use multiple choice. You can also add images to your questions. Just follow the red arrow by clicking on this. 
I can upload it. I can add Google images that come by URL. You can add any image you want. So to see your complete form, you can preview it. And to do that, you click on the three dots on top here and click on preview so now you can see your complete form here the title the description the questions so now let's answer to if well so here's check boxes so you can choose several answers Because I decided not to answer this question, you see, it says this is a required question. Since the email is a required question, I wouldn't be able to submit my form until I've answered the question. So let's type something here. So the last question is a multiple choice. So I'll just select one answer. So let's submit the form. So to see the responses, we'll have to go back to the earlier tab and click on responses. Just follow the red arrow. So now we can see all the responses. Who chose what? You get to see the questions, the individuals and what they choose. You get to see everything here. So you can also save all your responses as a PDF or you can print them. To do that, click here. So you click on print all responses. You get to see all your responses here and you can decide to save it as a PDF or to print it here so we can also link our responses to a Google sheet with that let's click here so you can create a new spreadsheet or you can select an existing spreadsheet so you can also share your phone with others and with that, you click on this icon. So you can share the form via email. So you type the person's email here. You can also change the message. You can share via the link, Facebook, or through Twitter. So we can customize our form and to do that, we click on this icon. can change the color you can choose an image so let's change the header you apply it to change so that's it if this video was helpful kindly subscribe let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. Kindly share. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.